Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making these amazingly tasty chili chicken wraps. This recipe is, well, I'll let you decide. So let's get to it. For my chicken, I will be using thighs. I hardly ever use breast and that's because I find it a bit too dry, but please feel free to use whatever you want. This is just my personal preference. And I don't buy the filly as well, and that's because I find it a bit too expensive. So what I do is I buy the skin on, bone on, and then I take off the skin and the bone myself. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I do that. So to do that, I first of all take off the skin and extra fat, and then I proceed to the bone. Now, if you're wondering what's going to happen to the bone and the skin, yeah, what I do is I store them in my freezer, and whenever I need to make broth or stock, I just bring them out and use that. So nothing's wasted. Now the next thing to do is to slice them into bite sizes. You can do pretty much any sort of size or shape that you prefer but I like this because it's visually appealing but please feel free to do whatever size you like and after that I'm going to transfer them into a bowl and then set aside. Now to season the chicken I will be using some black pepper, bouillon cubes, onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder and some salt next i'll combine thoroughly and then set aside this will be marinated for about an hour but if you're using chicken breast you will need to marinate for a lot longer than that i would say probably about two hours or even overnight but with chicken thigh you don't need to do too much for my vegetables i will be using tomatoes lettuce and onions I've also got some tortilla wraps. I've got them in 30 centimeters because I find them more manageable than the smaller ones. You can also use the Middle Eastern wraps if you prefer that. For my sauce, I will be using a mixture of natural yogurt. You can also use Greek yogurt if you prefer, mayonnaise, garlic powder, sweet chili, honey, chili pepper, lemon, and black pepper. Next, I'll combine them all together. You can mix and match the ingredients if you want or you can adjust to your own preference. You don't have to use every single thing that I've used on here. Now with the honey and sweet chili, you don't have to use both. You can use just one, but you do need something sweet to balance out the flavors. You also don't need to use both the black pepper and the chili, but I like mine a bit, you know, a bit spicy. So feel free to use any of both. And also you don't have to use lemon. You can also use vinegar instead or apple cider vinegar. So I'll combine them all together now and then set aside for later. So here I've got a pan on medium heat and once it heats up, I will go in with some coconut oil. You can use pretty much any other kind of oil that you prefer, but I do like coconut oil for my wraps. And then I will proceed to add the marinated chicken. So after arranging the chicken onto the pan, I will leave to fry for about three to four minutes on one side and then proceed to flip. I should mention at this point that you can also air fry or grill your chicken. You don't have to fry it, but I'm doing it this way because I know that not everyone's got an air fryer or an oven. So I'm just trying to do an easy way that everyone can relate to. So there's that. So after 78 minutes of frying, this is what it looks like. And this is how I love my chicken. I don't like my chicken looking white and nah, I prefer it looking this way anyway. So I'm going to set this aside. So now it's time to make the wraps and here I've got my tortilla. I'm going to spread some of the sauce in the middle. Now you can use pretty much any quantity that you like. I like mine really saucy. And then I will proceed to add some of the chicken. I'll also top it with some of the chopped onions, chopped tomatoes and the lettuce. I'll also top it with some of the sauce and then proceed to wrap. And you'll have to be very careful when you're wrapping because unlike the Middle Eastern wraps, those wraps are really, really ridiculous. <laughs> They're very flimsy and they tear quite, quite easily. 
So be careful. And after wrapping, this is what it looks like. And I will be setting this aside. And another one. And after wrapping, I will be rubbing some butter onto a non-stick pan on medium heat. Once it heats up, I will be transferring the wraps into it. The idea here is to warm up the wraps, like I said, and also to seal it. So once that's done on both sides, I will be transferring into a plate because that's ready to eat. And it's ready to eat. As you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful and incredibly tasty as well. So if you do try this recipe, please let me know how you get on by leaving me a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.